Hey everybody, so today I thought that we could talk a little bit about a topic that is a bit controversial, I guess. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever walked into a clinic and you've had a vet either recommend heartworm preventative medication or do heartworm testing. We're going to talk about that topic right now and actually I'm going to give you as much information as I can possibly give you. I've done a lot of research on this topic. I also am a PhD student in vector-borne disease, which are diseases transmitted by insects. So I have a lot of background on this particular topic, and hopefully I can give you enough information to make your own decision as to whether or not this is actually something that is important, something that you may want to do with your animal. Okay, so first things first, what is heartworm? So, heartworm is basically a filarial nematode. Basically what that means, any filarial nematode is usually transmitted by an insect. In this case, the heartworm, Dirofilaria imitis, is transmitted by mosquitoes. So you've got this like microscopic larva that the mosquito can transmit to your animal. It's technically a L3 stage larva. Um, there's multiple stages of larva. They go through molting and develop into other stages of the parasite. And so what happens when your animal gets heartworm is a mosquito bites that animal. The L3 larva enter into the skin and then go through a molting process for a little bit less than two weeks within that skin. And they molt to an L4 four stage larva. So that stage larva then starts moving further into the body and eventually um, around six to eight months after your dog gets bitten by a mosquito that's infected, they will have adult heartworms that are able to reproduce inside of the pulmonary vessels and then sometimes inside of the right ventricle of the heart. By that time, when the worms are adults and they can reproduce with one another, there are male and female worms, they will produce what's called an L1 stage larva. So basically the babies. Those babies then circulate inside of the blood and a mosquito can come around, pick up those L1 stage larva, and then those larvae develop inside of the mosquito into the L3 stage, which becomes infective for the dog again. So one thing that's really important to note is that the development of these larval stages in the mosquito are temperature dependent. So basically you have to have temperatures that are well above 14 to 15 degrees Celsius so that these larval stages can develop into that L3 infective larval stage in the mosquito. So if your region doesn't really reach high temperatures, um, especially during the winter months, you don't have to worry about the transmission of the parasite during that time frame. Okay, so now that we know a little bit about heartworm, it's important to know how we prevent heartworm in our animals. Now, there are monthly preventatives that can be given to a dog and that's typically the use of what we call macrocyclic lactones. So those are a specific type of drug that will target the microfilaria, the small like microscopic larva that the mosquito injects into your dog. And when I'm talking about the, the preventatives, most preventatives are given on a monthly basis. There are other preventatives out there. Um, for example, there's injectables that you can give, but the majority of people, I believe, do use the monthly preventatives. So I'm going to be talking about that for this video. Um, when we use the monthly preventatives, what it does is it basically works retrospectively. So the drug itself acts on any of these little microscopic larva that the mosquito injects into your dog. And it will work on anything that a mosquito has injected into your dog for the month prior to you giving it. So when you give it, it works backwards basically on anything that the dog would have been exposed to in the previous month. 
So it's important to give it starting when you start to see mosquitoes and then give it again at the end of the month where you start to not see mosquitoes anymore because that way you're covering the entire time period where your animal could have been exposed to the tiny larva that mosquitoes inject into your animal. So the decision to give a heartworm preventative is completely and totally up to the owner, right? Um, I think a very important thing to do is to take a look in your area and see what the prevalence rate is for heartworm. So some areas have a very low prevalence rate. You're really not going to see a lot of dogs being um, diagnosed with heartworm versus other areas, typically warmer areas will have a much higher prevalence rate in dogs. So you do wanna take a look and see how many animals annually get diagnosed. In almost all surveillance, everything gets under-reported, right? So a lot of people, if their animal is sick, won't take them in to get checked. So the chances are that even though you might see a low number of animals, um, reported as being infected, there's probably quite a few more that actually had the infection. So take those numbers with a grain of salt. So prevention is very important, um, but one other thing that you might be recommended to do with your dog by your veterinarian is an annual heartworm test. And that can mean a bunch of different things, but usually it means a blood test. Um, it's called an antigen detection test. So what it actually does is it detects the antigen of the adult worms. So if there's any adult worms in your dog's heart, especially most of the tests only detect female mature worms. So if there's female mature worms in your dog's heart, <laughs> and they're um, reproducing, then the test will detect those adult heartworms. Now the gold standard when it comes to heartworm diagnostic techniques is to do a annual heartworm test. Not only that, but also to follow it up with a modified knots test, which is like a, it's basically like a blood smear to look and see whether or not they can actually see the microscopic larva inside of the blood. So I think one of the biggest reasons why vets recommend doing this annually is owner compliance. I think there's no way to guarantee that an owner is consistently applying preventatives um, on a strict schedule when it comes to the times of year where mosquitoes are emerging. And so to make sure that an animal doesn't have heartworm, they recommend annual testing. So I think if an owner's been applying topical heartworm preventative medication consistently, they've been applying it during the times of year where a mosquito can develop the parasite. Um, so owner compliance has been perfect, then the need for an annual test, especially in areas with a low prevalence of heartworm, where heartworm really isn't circulating very much in the mosquito population, I think in that case, the need for annual testing is quite low. Um, the vast majority of dogs are gonna test negative when it comes to an antigen detection test. Now, if you're an owner that is not consistent, if you miss giving your animal the monthly dose of preventative medication. I think in that case, it's warranted. I think you want to figure out whether or not your animal is infected because it is a very serious infection. Now, testing for heartworm in areas where the prevalence rate is really high or there's consistent um, transmission, the, the mosquitoes are constantly around, it's really warm, they can always carry the parasite, then I think annual testing is more warranted um, just because you can get transmission during 
any time of the year and you know that there's a high chance or a high risk of your animal being exposed. So I honestly think it's completely dependent on where you live. Um, that's the most straightforward answer I can give is that if you live in an area where it's not very common and you're consistent with your heartworm preventative medication, you should be okay. There probably isn't a need for annual testing. If you live in an area where it's consistently being transmitted the entire year, you have mosquitoes that are around that could be transmitting the parasite, then even if you are consistent with your medication, you might want to get an annual test to make sure that your animal has not been exposed or to make sure that there hasn't been any failure when it comes to the preventative medication. It's not always 100% effective. And so in that case, you might wanna see if, if your animal is okay. So there is a new test on the market called the SNAP4DX Plus, which is provided by IDEX. It is an antigen detection test that does test for heartworm, but on top of that, you're going to be able to test for exposure to five different tick-borne diseases as well. So if you're making the decision to actually do a heartworm test, I would most definitely recommend going for that test because it's going to be able to show you more than just the regular SNAP test. So you might as well go for something that's gonna give you more bang for your buck. All right, you guys, so I hope that this was helpful. I hope you learned something new and I will see you guys in another video very soon. Bye.